Want to see how and why we put a roof on our chicken run? Keep watching. We're going to build a roof for the chicken run. The uh, chicken run itself is, is 10 feet wide, so I'm going to make the roof 12 feet long to have a little bit of overhang on either side. Plus I'm going to pitch it a little bit so rain will naturally just drain off rather than pool up and seep through the seams. And I wanted the rain to drain away from our walking path, so it's going to going to pitch off to that side. I've got these 2 by 6s that I've cut at an extremely shallow angle so the roof will naturally pitch down that direction. Incidentally, to figure this angle out, rather than using fancy math with cosines and whatever else, math never was my strongest suit, I just simply put a 2x4 up against a 2x6 and drew a little line to get the approximate angle and then cut this on the table saw. Because I don't have any internal columns holding up the middle part of our chicken run, it is completely unsafe to walk on to try and build this roof in place so building it is the easy part. Installing it is going to be the really tricky part. I'll have my dad and my brother out here a little later to help put that up. I'll build the roof on the ground and we'll just heave it up, put it in position, and I'll, I'll screw it into place. Let me give you another a couple of close-ups to, to see what, how we're going to do that. I've got a few of these little L brackets, a couple of different types, positioned for the 2x6s. That way it'll just be real easy when we put it up here to know exactly where to place, place it on the roof. The reason I'm putting the, the 2x6 inset a little rather than right at the very edge is because when it comes time to to screw it onto the roof, I need to be able to get the screws in. Doing it this way, I can just screw right through the bottom up into the 2x6, and that should work, work just fine. Let's talk a little bit about why I'm putting the roof up. It goes back to when we first built the chicken coop. We were very concerned about predators, and with valid reason, if you've been watching our videos this year, 2020, you'll know we lost an awful lot of chickens to a raccoon when we were uh, growing them out in the Mini Cooper. With the chicken run, when we built it, we buried some really substantial... Let me go inside so you can see. When we built the chicken run, we buried some really substantial beams significantly down into the ground to completely deter any predator from being able to dig under and get into here to get our chickens. And it's been great for that, but unfortunately, when it rains, when it rains a lot, this whole sloping area just becomes a big swimming pool mud hole. Which isn't, which isn't great for our chickens. My first solution to try and fix that problem completely didn't work. I drilled a hole here 
to try and just let water drain through and out and run down the hill. But that hole was just constantly getting clogged with muck and debris. And I'd clear it out and it would drain for a little bit but then clog back up. And even when I just continuously really kept it clean, uh, clear so that stuff would drain out, I would just get this mucky slime trail going right down the walking path, which is exactly where we wouldn't want that. So another problem, <laughs> trying to solve a problem. But like I said, that hole really isn't draining the chicken run like we wanted to. So, so this roof, I'm hoping, will be the answer to this problem. That hole certainly wasn't doing the job. If we just keep all the excess water out, then it won't be a big, big muddy mess for them. I've got everything laid out here. There's two sections to the chicken run. So I'm gonna to have to build two roofs, but I'll probably just film building this one. The plastic roof panels that I'm using will want to sag and, and droop. So I'm gonna to have to put in two by twos to give it a little horizontal support. For this first course, I'll just use unaltered ones that I can just screw straight down in. The other ones, I've used a Craig jig to make pocket holes so I can position them and then very easily screw them into the next two by four. When it comes time to attach the plastic roof panels, I'll be using these screws with a little rubber gasket. All right, here we go.
business? <laughs> All you can hear is chicken in the background. I'm going to turn down the other one too. But... Okay. Hold on, let me get past the branch. Okay. Um, All right. So, we could uh, position the letters and just try to slowly bring it up and Let's slide it, it down. Let's slide it all the way as far to the building as we can. Okay. And then, and then here, and then. All right, we are. Yeah. Okay, you and Dad go ahead and lift. Pretty close. You guys go ahead and lift it, and I'm going to get underneath there. I'm going to hold it up, and we're going to try to put it up. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. You think we'll be able to get it up that high with uh, yep. without the ladders? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So there is the chicken wire up there that's. It's gonna want to hang on. Okay, now Brian, okay, if you want, go ahead and get the hold, ladder. I, can, I got it. I can hold it. Use that while you guys get your ladders position. Oh, Brian's just a little high. So let me. You got it, Dan? Yeah. You want to get it in the middle? And I'll get it here and I'll just start scooting it. Because yours might be a little high, Brian. Yeah. I can try you know, me. Can get it. I'll just get it right in the middle. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift it so we can scoot it. Okay. Well, a little bit more. Oh, I'm more right here. See this little thing right here, Dan? Yeah. Yeah. We don't wanna. There. Bend it or break it off. Okay, scoot a little more. Okay, we're doing. We're hanging up a little bit on the uh, chicken wire. Okay, tilt it up. There, there we go. Exactly. We'll have to keep picking it up so that doesn't happen. Okay, hold on. I gotta push up a little more. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. I think we're hanging up on the uh, chicken wire, so we might need to. Okay. Here. Tip it and slide in. Let me get on the thing. I can also lift it from that side. Okay. Where, where, let me see. I can't see what you're seeing, Brian. Yeah. So, <clears throat> okay, the chicken wire grabs the uh, end down there. Okay, I get it here. Just Let me second. do this. Yeah, I can I can reach it. Okay, hold on one second, Dad. Yeah, no, I'm not going to pull up, but I can help. Let's. Oh, there it is. Here's, 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 we need to go. Yeah, that's where it's hanging up. Yeah, okay, let's back it up a little bit, Brian. And then we'll do a little bit of a wheelie. Okay. Hold on. Okay. There we are. Okay, now you can do it. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, Dad. Ladder's moving on me. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Okay, okay I gotta move my ladder, so hang tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll move my ladder, too. Let's get a little bit closer. Your ladder's gonna be in the way, Brian. It, it will until we get far enough over. Okay. okay. You guys ready? Yep. Maybe we can. Okay. Can we get up there just a little bit? There we go. Okay. Okay, I need to go up and back. Yep. Okay. The grinds need to go up too, like. Oh, I see. Brian, if you just lift yours up a teeny bit. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now we need to come back. We're going to slide back towards this way just about maybe three or four inches. Do you want me to help you with your side, Brian? Okay. We're close. We're, we're, we're real close. We're where we need to be on this side. Looks like it needs to come back about an inch. And a Dad, if that, you actually just slide your side that way, it'll, we, it'll... Yeah, we need to slide the whole thing. There we go, right bit. there. Right there. There, there, we're there. And there. Perfect. Okay. I'll go how, ahead far, and... how far from the wall are you over there, Dad? I can't tell That's you. good enough. We've also got the overhang here for a yeah, little bit I, of a... I just, I just push it up there. Okay, but this this needs to come back right yeah, there. Yeah, that's this is a little more critical. So that'll be good. Brian, you want to take a look at this though? We bent it up a little bit. I'll take a look at this. I mean, it's not... It's still great, but I guess when you screw it in, it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it'll self-correct with the, with the screw on. Yeah, that'll be fine. They got a lot to say about what's going on. Well, good, good thinking, guys. It really wasn't good. bad. Yeah, that when you use, you use um, the right way to do it, which I do. Here you go. Here, Ryan, you want me to? Yeah, I'll just hand it up to you. So we're not, uh, we're not touching the wall over here. Do you want it? It's fine. You're fine. Yeah, because the overhang is. 
in fact, it's just as well because that way you got a little overhang here. Yeah, it's just about just yeah, about yeah, what I want. You could almost you could come out of foot if you wanted to do it later. I mean, if you, if you said later leaks, you could shift it over. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I didn't want it to hit the roof. I didn't care about it. Okay. All right. So, same thing on this one. We might might not even need the lighters actually to get up there. We'll see once we get here. Perfect. And we're like, did he screw it and just chisel it out? Or we're like, we were, we were, we were saying, 
Well, because you don't have, uh, you know, the type of saw that would, you know, do that. I go, God, I mean, how did he do that? And everything's so flat. So we right. always know that you'll figure it out, but we're like, how did he exactly right. notch it like we, that? You know, we, said, we said, I don't know how, we know he'll have it perfect, but we can't figure it out till we get there. <laughs> <laughs> And now we'll screw it down from the underside. 